Hey, what's good YouTube? Target here and welcome to another episode of Design and Manage, my City Skylines and modded Let's Play series. Today I've started the episode by decorating the remaining areas of our city with trees and rocks, something that I've been missing, and I've done that right off the bat because today I want to focus on something much more important than that, which is fixing the traffic issues of our city. As I've explained you on the last episode, this city is pretty much complete, we are done with it, there is nothing else I want to build in it. So now what I want to do before I wrap up the city and finish up for good is addressing all the issues that the city has and the most important one is traffic issues. So what I'm going to do today is analyze the entire traffic situation of the city, um, see where are the traffic issues, if there are any, and I am going to solve them and I'm going to show you my thought process behind it, so stay tuned for that. Okay guys, so as you can see this is a pretty big city, we have around 120k population, which is um, fairly big for a vanilla city without any mods. So we can only expect that there are a lot of traffic issues with this particular city. So let's start off by analyzing traffic in this little island, for that I am going to select my uh, traffic overview. And uh, first and foremost, you can see that I have an average traffic flow of 81%, which is pretty good for a city of this size. But uh, starting off with this island, we can see already that we have a big issue in this junction here, this uh, highway interchange and also this uh, roundabout that gives access to the industry. Uh, when the industry's DLC came out and I've built this forestry industry and also when I've built this later district that I've built on the last episode, it seems that the situation got way worse than what it is now, so this is an area that we'll have to focus on and fix, so uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, for the rest of the island I can see some red areas, like this one for example, but traffic is flowing very very smoothly and there's not a, a big congestion, so I'm not very worried about this. I'm gonna let situations like this slide, because this is pretty normal and very little troublesome. So let's move on to other parts of the city, let's go to our industry sector and as you can see we have another very big problem which is um, our industrial sector right next to uh, the cargo harbor. In one of my earlier episodes, I believe it was episode 19 or something, I fixed and addressed uh, the traffic issues in this location but with the industry's DLC uh, as I've built this new industrial sector and also when I've built this cargo station it seems that the traffic problems here got way worse than what they are now um, particularly in this junction so this is another thing that I'll have to focus on. Moving on to the northern part we have yet another issue which is the access to this cargo terminal. Exportation and importation of cargo is always a big issue in this game because uh, all the trucks converge to this particular point. Uh, what we can see here is a lot of trucks wanting to get uh, into this um, cargo terminal but there are also other trucks that want to bypass this cargo terminal and access this particular one, the um, cargo terminal uh, exclusive for uh, internal cargo. So again, this is another thing that we'll have to address. I also see a lot of red areas in the main industrial sector but I do not see any very big uh, congestion so I think I am going to wait a little bit and see how this area develops. Moving on to other areas, there seems to be a few red zones here but nothing to worry about. Uh, the same thing with this um, island interchange, traffic is flowing very very smoothly so no worries with this. Uh, if we move on to other parts of the city we can see that um, there are a few red areas, but again, nothing to worry about. I don't see very big lines of traffic uh, to be solved, so I think we're pretty much okay. Um, this is this city is actually very well optimized for traffic. Um, now that now that I see it, I believe we've done a very good job. Uh, a few episodes ago, when I was building this winter themed park. I noticed that this interchange was very very congested, particularly on this junction, but as I've transformed this road into a two-lane road it seems that the problem is now fixed, so yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Again, if we, if we go over here we see very um, bright red areas, particularly on the intersections, but again, uh, traffic seems to be flowing very very smoothly, so 
this area is um, working very nicely. If we move on to the other parts of town, it seems that everything is um, traffic free, which is great. We do have, however, a very big problem. Now, you might have noticed this very bright red and, and thin line, as you can see over here. So this is not a normal road. This is our uh, train tracks. And yes, it seems that we have a very serious problem in our train tracks because we have a huge line of trains that you can see and they are all coming from um, the outside of the city and they are pretty much stuck at this particular line. And this is because this particular line has to take a lot of trains. They have to take on um, cargo trains, uh, passenger trains that come from outside the city and also local city trains. So, Yes, this is yet another area that I'm gonna have to fix and quite frankly, I'm still not sure how I'm going to fix it. Let's just see um, the amount of trains and also the type of trains that we have in this line. So this is a passenger train of a line that I've built. So this is a, a city train. This one is also a city train as well as this one. This one is a regional train, as you can see we don't have that blue bar that indicates the, pro the progress. This is a train that is coming from outside the city, bringing passengers inside the city. Uh, the same thing for this one. The same thing for this one. This one is a city train, one of my um, local trains, as well as this one. This one is a regional train. Uh, another regional train. Another regional train. This is a city train and the regional train and so on and so forth. So I believe the most obvious solution is to um, make a secondary train line uh, that will allow us to split uh, the train traffic between local trains and also regional trains. And I believe that's it for our analysis. Uh, wait, let me just check on this um, part of the city that I haven't checked yet. Again, we have a lot of traffic in this um, intersection, in both of these intersections, but uh, as you can see, again, traffic is flowing smoothly. Uh, I see very little car stopping. We have this uh, issue over here, but again, traffic is flowing, so uh, I don't see any issue with this. And finally, the Leisure Island. Okay, I'm not even going to bother um, making a deep analysis with this because, as you can see, uh, there are no issues whatsoever with traffic and finally this area over here uh, this little island is also uh, traffic free so no issues with that and i believe that's going to be it for our analysis now we are left with the most difficult task which is addressing and fixing all of these issues Okay guys, so I believe I'm going to start with this particular issue because I believe it's the most simple one to fix. So the source of this issue is pretty much a bunch of trucks that want to go to this uh, train station and also to this one. So what I believe I can do is make a dedicated road for trucks who want to access this specific station and also a separate dedicated road for trucks who want to access this particular station. So. Um, I believe that will help that will help us split traffic in two and this whole thing will get um, much better and much more controllable. So um, let's try and do that right now. Let me just pause the simulation and I will want to... I do not want to delete this road because we are going to need it, but I want to delete this loop as well as uh, this connection. These tunnels will have to go, unfortunately. I'll have to fix them at the future stage. Let's try and make a parallel road that comes all the way over here. Let's make it one way. Now let's connect it back to here. I want to connect it here and I want to make a secondary road that will pretty much connect uh, here. Like this, perfect. Maybe we can even smooth this up a little bit. Okay, now let's just uh, connect everything. Let's connect this over here. Let's also connect the existing the secondary line to the main line. There we go. Now we need to connect the tunnels that we have 
pretty much demolished. So let's try and do that. Like this, perfect. And now we need to connect this tunnel as well. Okay, now let's just uh, resume the simulation and see if we've managed to do something good here. Alright, we have definitely made a lot of progress here, but uh, we still see some trucks who are bypassing and using this road to go to this cargo station. That's not what we want. The reason why I believe they're still doing it is that they, is that they don't see this road as a shorter way to get here. And that's because we are pretty much using the same length, but I believe we can address that by making a very slight modification. So if I pause the simulation, and I come here and I pretty much delete this uh, segment and I connect it in a different way such as for example like this and now I just connect it here and connect this one over here I also need to convert it to a highway so that uh, these guys see this road as a faster way there we go, and this one can be a normal road. Now I believe every truck that comes through this junction will prefer this road to go to this uh, cargo station than this one. But uh, there's only one way to find that out, so let's just uh, resume the simulation and see if that works. Okay guys, so I've noticed a few additional problems with this layout. One of them is that the trucks who are coming to this train station and then want to get out and go on with their lives. Uh, the only way for them to get out is through this way if they want to go to the northern part of the city and go through this um, roundabout. And they are pretty much interfering with the traffic that wants to go uh, to, this station, to this train station. So what I believe I can do is make an overpass over here that um, will pretty much eliminate this intersection and connect after the station, so at the round over here or so. I believe that is going to be a good decision. Uh, finally, we also have another issue which is drugs who want to get into this tunnel. They are pretty much interfering with the traffic that uh, wants to get into this station. So what I believe I can do is make an additional tunnel that leaves the roundabout at the round over here so that trucks who want to get into this tunnel and get out to the uh, lower part of the layout, to the downtown industrial sector, do not have to go through this road. So those are some more details that we can work on right now. Boom! Traffic is fixed. Okay, for this area I want to try out a couple different things. Uh, so we can see that the most problematic area right now is this junction, where trucks that are coming from both the left and the right are wanting to come on this avenue to go either um, north to the industrial sector or want to go left and get out of the industrial sector. So I don't know, what can we do about this? Perhaps we can make a shorter way for people who want to go into the cargo harbor. Maybe by making a road uh, over here. Okay. And deleting this connection. Oh, not like that. Like this, okay. And let's see how people uh, react to this. Let's also try and control traffic a bit better with one-way roads. So let me try and make an additional connection right about over here. If I have the road over here, will I destroy everything? Let's check it out.
Ok. Traffic problems require drastic measures. By using the traffic routes view, we can also see that the people who are using this segment of road either want to go through this road to get out of the layout or go north, as we have seen before. So, uh, let's see what happens if I add a secondary way for people to get from this road to this uh, highway. Alright, after a lot of trial and error, I believe I finally managed to fix the traffic in this area. Um, I still have some issues at about this junction and that is caused by the volume of traffic that wants to come and go out of the cargo ships, but I believe there's nothing I can do about it, because uh, that's pretty much related to the volume of, of traffic. I did however provide another way for the cargo trucks to get onto this uh, road and also on this uh, highway over here uh, by using this tunnel. And I've also used this thing over here, this tool, uh, to remove the, um, the stop signs in a lot of the roads that we had. And that made this area function much, much better. And I believe that's the best we can do with this. Okay, so that's another traffic issue settled. Alright guys, moving on to this area of town, um, we can see that the biggest problem is on this um, interchange over here. And if I click uh, this view, the traffic routes, we can see that we have a lot of traffic going into different directions. We have, uh, first and foremost, you can see a lot of, the, of different col colored lines. We can see that the brown ones are trucks, so we have a lot of trucks. We can also see some public transport who wants to come all the way over here and we can also see some purple uh, lines which are private vehicles. And the problem with this is that this is the only access to this part of the island so we got a lot of people wanting to go to this commercial area, we can see some trucks who are wanting to go to the shipyard, uh, some people who want to come to the forestry industry and finally we have a lot of people wanting to go to this new neighborhood, as you can see by the lines. So I think we have no other choice but to completely uh, remodel this roundabout and try to make something more effective. So I'm gonna pause the simulation and I'm going to try and rework this. Alright guys, I've made a few modifications to this uh, highway off-ramp and also to the roundabout, so let's just uh, resume the simulation and see if it works. Okay, this seems to be working much much better than before, but uh, it also seems that we still have a bit of issues. First and foremost, we do not really need this um, road over here because we already have one that connects to this main avenue. So I think I am going to delete this one. Oh, and by the way, let me just check if my public transport uh, lines have um, completely adjust to these new changes. Uh, yeah, there we go, they are uh, fully functional. It's cool to see. So let's just uh, delete this and now that will force trucks and cars to come through this little segment of road. So let's see if this affects the city negatively. Okay, so the final thing that I think we need to do is add some priority to the trucks and cars that are on the roundabout. So 
if I come all the way over here, I can put some uh, stop signs in these uh, key areas. And now this roundabout should have total priority. Let's just uh, check it out. Let's also convert the roundabout to a highway so that traffic flows faster. This little road over here also has a lot of uh, traffic um, and it has two types of traffic. First, it has traffic that wants to go forward and traffic wants to move left and enter the roundabout. So perhaps one of the things that we can do is convert it to an asymmetrical three lane avenue so that um, it cars now have two lanes to either go forward or to turn left. And as you can see now, they are now using both lanes of traffic, which is great. And I believe we can do the same with this road over here. So let's do that. And yes, I think we have it um, pretty much controllable. Another issue that we have is the amount of cars that are on this avenue we want to get out of the layout. So as you can see, we have a line that goes all the way over here. I wonder if I convert this to a six lane avenue, uh, if it will change anything. I don't think it will, but let's try it out. I think cars are still going to use just one lane of traffic because they all want to go for, uh, to the right side. So yeah, cars are pretty much stopping unnecessarily at the roundabout. So what I think I'm going to do is to remove the uh, traffic stops or the, the stop signs that I've put here. Uh, maybe it will make this a bit more balanced. And I also want to try out uh, adding another way for trucks to get into this um, roundabout. So what I think I'm going to do is add um, a connection here. And if this doesn't work out, I'll just uh, delete it. But uh, let's just try it out, see what happens. Let's put it right here, okay. And yes, of course, I'll need to rebuild this pathway as intended, but uh, let's just see if this thing works. Okay, so this is pretty much pointless. Uh, no trucks are using this road, so I'm gonna delete it. I am going to rebuild the pathway, which I believe is a cycling road. Yes, it is. Let's also convert this avenue back to a four lane because it's pretty much pointless to have um, a six way. Well, 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 this seems much better, doesn't it? Okay, so what I've done here was very, very simple. I've started the split much earlier in the avenue um, so that uh, trucks coming from this side had a bigger road to follow before any interchange. And I've also added this connection so that cars who are wanting to come from this road all the way until here, don't have to go all the way and connect to the avenue and cause and contribute to the congestion that was happening uh, at this junction. So I believe this action made this much, much better. Oh, and I don't know if you have noticed with the little time lapse, but uh, this tunnel over here brings people from this little segment of um, highway all the way until here and also uh, it connects to this side, so trucks coming out of the highway can go all the way here and they can go into this tunnel and get out here or they can either keep moving forward, go through this path uh, over here that I'm highlighting with my mouse and follow this tunnel here where they will have the chance to get out uh, over here. And likewise, trucks who uh, come from this side and want to get into this tunnel as well can come and hop on on the tunnel here and keep moving forward and connect to the existing tunnel. So uh, a bit confusing, but as you can see, 
it works uh, with traffic. So I'm satisfied with it. Okay guys, before I forget, some of you have been warning me that I have an unconnected tunnel here. And uh, yeah, it's true, I pretty much forgot about connecting it. This tunnel was connected to this side, but I don't think it's going to be necessary to connect this side to this area. And especially because we don't have any more room and I don't want to destroy anything. So I think I'm going to connect it to this little avenue. So I am going to make a road. Let's see what is a good place for it. Perhaps over here, right in the middle. Why is this not working? Yo, there you go. And perhaps right about over here. So let's just uh, make a tunnel. And connect. Uh, with this uh, existing tunnel. Okay, perfect. I now hope that your OCD is fixed. Okay guys, and now comes the hardest part, which is going to be fixing this messy uh, train congestion. And uh, as I've mentioned before, I think I'll have no other way but to create a separate line just for um, cargo trains and also passenger trains coming from outside the city. So one line specific for uh, regional traffic and one line specific for local traffic. But we'll have to leave it for another episode because this video is running a bit long already. Today we have managed to fix a lot of city traffic and our city is now much more functional than before. And we are now one step closer to ending up the series. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already to get notified every time I post a new City Skylines video. Thank you so much for watching guys and as always, have fun! Yes.